Okay, so we have already completed the anemia and all those malignancy things. So we are starting with the some of the benign part that is the last part of the hematologic class that is the platelet and coagulations. Okay, so this is actually somewhat difficult sometimes if you do not know the basics, but if you completely know the basics then it is very easy because it is a calculations only and uh, most of the time pathology pupils are actually the very good one because they do the test in their, in their own hand. So, they know what actually being occurring. So, that is why pathology background is very important for this part also. So, coming to the hemostasis, hemostasis is actually uh, as you all know the blood should remain in the fluid, it is the fluid uh, organ. So, it should remain in the fluid and that is why we have a uh, system so that it to maintain it in fluid and you know the Virco triad that tells us about how the blood remains in fluid. So, any abnormality of the any three components that is the vessel wall or the blood components and third the endothelium. If any component is uh, breakage or any uh, changes there then there is the blood becomes clotted. And so, and that blood uh, must coagulate only at the uh, rapidly at a localized place and it must be reversible. If there is an inappropriate coagulation then we call it uh, inappropriate uh, clotting we call it uh, thrombosis right. So, three major systems as you already told, but the coagulations actually occurs between the interplay with the vessel wall along with the blood components that is the platelets as well as the coagulation proteins. So, with that we actually go for the hemostasis systems and we all know that hemostasis that may occur uh, whenever there is a breach in the uh, blood vessels, there occurs some neural uh, response that is by vasoconstrictions with due to the uh, uh, epinephrine and all these things and there is the primary hemostatic plug by the uh, platelet coagulation, platelet plug formation and then the tissue factor release and there is the coagulation cascades activating and formation of the coagulation that is the, ask them to change the secondary. So, any, if there is any blood vessels injury there is the platelet plug formations, the blood vessels gets vasoconstricted and there is the uh, vasoconstriction and there is also a coagulation cascades activating all this leads to formations of a plate. Uh, thrombosis. So, a stable hemostatic plug is formed. So, I will first part uh, there are three phase actually hemostasis the primary hemostasis formation that is for the platelet plug, secondary hemostasis formation and the fibrinolysis. I will in first part I will go around details about the platelet functions and structures and all these uh, abnormalities along the platelet functions and then I will go into the secondary coagulation factors and the fibrinolysis also. Okay, then, so, the platelet uh, actually the basic mechanism is whenever there is an injury there is the endothelium damage is there. So, the endothelium damage is uh, covered by a platelet plug formation initially. So, all these platelets are coming these platelets actually goes into that uh, breach and they forms a platelet plug. Okay. So, this is in uh, nut cell about what happens and ultimately this platelet rich plug or the white thrombi that covers the breach and thereby the thrombosis actually gets uh, the breaches get covered. So, in details what happens there is a three phase actually the initiation phase, the platelet adhesion, then comes the platelet uh, activations and then part the comes the platelet aggregations. So, first is the platelet adhesions initiation what happens that uh, all these platelets are coming to the this breached surface. So, whenever there is a breach in the vessel wall the subendothelial plate subendothelial area gets exposed. So, there are some few of the uh, components here like the collagen fibers and all the uh, uh, intercellular matrix that comes into contact with these all platelets and the vessels uh, blood components. So, here the platelet gets into attached, how they attach they actually uses either directly binds with the collagen on the subendothelial space by using GP4 and GP6 or they can binds using volume one factor as a bridge. So, the, they actually binds with the volume factor and volume factor binds with this collagen in the subendothelial space and there they use GP1B9 as the receptors. But the GP1B9 is already present on the platelets. So, why they are not initially binding with the volume factors? That is because the only when there is some shearing stress and there is some changes in the volume uh, the platelet surface when this GP1B9 gets activated. So, it needs some shearing force to change the conformation of the GP1B9. 